Alex Grimaldo and Lucas Paqueta. What's the latest on these two players? A left back and an attacking midfielder. So let's start with Grimaldo. And this is what um, the reports say from today. According to Graham Bailey, confirmation that Arsenal are in talks with Benfica over a deal for Alex Grimaldo after submitting a 6 million bid. He has reportedly been training alone during preseason, having turned down a new deal at Estadio de Los. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. So, according to reports, Grimaldo has turned down a new deal at Benfica and he wants to leave the club. Now, we talked about him the other day. Uh, we say that uh, a lot of fans, especially Benfica fans, are saying Alex Grimaldo is not really all that. He will be okay in the smaller games, but in the bigger games, he will struggle like Bellerin, like Cedric, like Tavares. Remember, Tavares came from the exact same team, and that is a bit of a concern. But hey, he is a backup left back. We know how much you need a lot of players in that position. But uh, before the summer transfer window opened, we were actually talking about replacing Tini. There's some fans who are talking about replacing Tini or getting someone who could actually challenge Tini for that position. For Alex Grimaldo, it seems like someone who's coming in just debutize for um, Tini. But as we said in that position, you're not just debutizing for uh, deputizing for one of the players. You're not deputizing for Tini. You're literally almost going to play more, more games than he is. You're going to play for more than 20 games because he's, he, most of the times he's injured. That is a position I never thought you'd ever need someone, but unfortunately the injuries I've had have done the talking. Like if Tini was fit and always playing like 35 or 38 games, we would never ever talk about the left back because he's a very good player on that side. Uh, we were debating about him and Robertson a couple of seasons ago. Who is better? Is it Tien? Is it Robertson? Like if he was always fit, like left back, right back, and also centre back in terms of Gabriel and Pate, those are the positions that we were never going to talk about. But unfortunately, most, most of those players are injured and we are having to talk about them. So Alex Grimaldo is looking likely that we are going to get him. Today, reports have come out that Zinchenko is still a target for Arsenal in case Lissandro Martinez and also Grimaldo don't join. So Zinchenko is still um, in the talking. But after we get this guy, I don't expect us to get um, Zinchenko. And for Lissandro Martinez, Lissandro Martinez can still play as a centre-back and as a midfielder. So that is still a slight possibility. But as we said, we are expecting him to join Manchester United no other team so alex Rimaldo, that's the latest what about lucas paqueta this is this is the latest on lucas paqueta according to reports from canero arsenal and leon are in ongoing discussions for lucas paqueta there is no hurry between the clubs the prize wanted by leon is 60 million euros lucas wants to make a sporting and financial leap for his career and hopes the move materializes now I, I definitely love the um, sporting leap. Obviously, um, that kind of means like moving from Lyon to Arsenal is a, is a step up in your career. I definitely like that. But the financial part doesn't really excite me. I usually do not like players joining you because of um, financial reasons. I like a player wanting to be part of the project, or in our case, wanting to be part of the process, wanting to play that uh, under Ateta, wanting to achieve whatever Arsenal wants to achieve in the next two to five years. That is what I prefer. But Lucas Paqueta, this is a player that um, we've been linked to for a couple of months, but we've only seriously heard about him the last um, one week, like maybe even less than a week. And uh, we are hearing that Arsenal have been keeping an eye out on uh, for him since January. That we've been scouting him. We've sent agents to watch his games for Lyon. And Ateta and they do actually impressed with him. Ateta has actually given the go-ahead for Arsenal to sign him. But the problem is the price again. 60 million euros is a lot of money. Personally, as I've always said, i rather raise that money to get in two actual midfielders, Tillemans and someone else, but I wouldn't mind an attacking midfielder. The other day, uh, there was news about Arsenal signing three more players, an attacking midfielder or an attacking winger or uh, a winger, sorry. So an attacking winger or midfielder or an attacking player like a striker, that was the first position. So either we're going to get a winger, a striker or a midfielder. Number two was a central midfielder, so someone like a Tillemans or someone like that. And the third one was a left-sided defender. Now, the left-sided defender looks like it's going to be Grimaldo or Zinchenko or very unlikely be Lissandro Martinez. In terms of central midfield, it's either going to be Tillemans or Milinkovic, Savic, or those kind of players. And in terms of forward line, it could be Paqueta or the other wingers that we've been linked to. We've not really been linked to the striker. So Lucas Paqueta is the late, that's the latest on Lucas Paqueta. I don't know if I would pay the money. Personally, I wouldn't, but it's looking likely like uh, we would actually make the bid. Um, there's reports that we are going to make the bid very, very soon. Atita has given the go ahead. 
We've admired him for a long time. We know how we've been linked to a lot of players from Lyon. We signed Lacazette from the, the likes of Awar, who we talked about uh, a couple of years ago. And we never actually got Awar because uh, Lyon were kind of stingy. So I don't think we'll, I don't think we'll get Paqueta that easily. This, if we actually get it, that could be the end of July. So I expect us to maybe make a 45 million bid and then reject it, then a 50 million bid probably rejected. This could be the same as the Rafinha one, but hopefully we do actually end up getting him. I don't mind. I personally would go for midfielder first, then try and sort out the other positions. But that is the latest on Paqueta and Grimaldo. Um, Grimaldo is looking more likely like 80%. Marquette, I'd say, I'd say maybe 55%. I'm not confident in that one really, really happening. But you have to wait and see. We may, we may have to be surprised. I mean, Fabrizio Romano earlier today reported that it's very difficult to predict Arsenal's deals because they come from now. Edu is creative and Atta doesn't really want to talk about the transfers, which I don't mind. I'd rather um, announce the done deal rather than um, announcing players and then other teams like Tottenham and Man to try to hijack them. That is the issue. As long as we get the player through the door, I do not mind at all. So let me know between Lucas Paqueta and Grimaldo. Who would you try to get first? Are you happy with Grimaldo? Do you think he can do the job first on the left side? Or would you forget about Grimaldo and try someone like Zinchenko? Zinchenko would obviously be a lot more money. But Zinchenko is a guy I definitely want because that is a guy coming from Man City. Personally, I would take anyone from Manchester City, like literally anyone. I am not joking. Like whether it's Zinchenko, Nathan Ake, Ederson, Jesus, we've already taken Maris. Because those players like have that winning mentality, like they've been around Guardiola, they've been around the likes of De Bruyne, Diaz, like winning mentality. They always do well in the Premier League, even sometimes reach 100 points every single season. Total 90, 90 points plus every single season, score 100 plus goals, reach finals of the FA Cup and um, also Carabao Cup like every single season. The last three campaigns, they've reached the final of the Champions League, the semi-final a couple of times. So they have that winning, uh, winning mentality and also they since Atta was there and Atta tries to play the same style as Guardiola, it would be so easy for a Man City player to come in at Arsenal and adapt. So if Zinchenko, for example, comes in, he's worked with that step before, he can easily adapt because of um, the 4-3-3 we play. Gabriel Jesus is already there as well. Like It would be so easy for him to adapt. So for me, Zinchenko definitely trying, but let's see. I still believe we're going to get three players this summer transfer window. Hopefully, we do get them before the start of the season. I really don't want us to go and get Tillemans after the first two games of the season or someone like us in Schenker after the first two games. Hopefully, we can get it done as early as possible.